It's uh, time to go back to the Newport Centre for more snooker. We were there a little earlier this afternoon. It's the final of the Senator Windows Welsh Professional Championship. It's between Terry Griffiths, the defending champion, and Doug Mountjoy. The score was last three frames to one in favour of Terry Griffiths. Let's catch an update with our commentators, Ted Lowe and Clive Everton. Fifteen. And there's the position of this uh, fifth frame. Terry Griffiths uh, potted a brilliant red to start this break, having uh, had to come to the table with Doug making the 43 break. And using the pack 23. to run through, he's run through a trifle too far, in fact. 30. Thirty-one. And this is a good reply by Terry Griffiths to Doug's opening break of 43. If he can screw behind these uh, four reds here, he's got every chance of uh, finishing the frame at this visit. Not quite the angle on the blue to be able to get up nearer to 36. the reds. Thirty-six. I think he's looking at a shot to nothing. In other words, trying to get that cue ball whilst trying to pop the red, we'll try and get the cue ball back down safe. Thirty-six, Teddy Griffiths. So just coming out of position on the blue ball there, uh, robbed him of uh, clearing up there. And as you can see, just seven points in it now with the four reds to go. out of it and he's left it awkward for Terry he's got to play over the top of that red so I doubt if he'll attempt one of these three into the middle Just clipping the left hand of the three. Trying to squeeze past the blue, but it didn't come off.
Now, there's the trophy that goes to the winner uh, sometime this evening. And together with that trophy, of course, is a check for £10,500. Mistake from Mountjoy there. So far in this frame, we've had just two scoring visits to the table. Doug Mountjoy went to uh, the first instance and made a break of 43. Terry replied with a break of 36, and he's now got the chance of uh, consolidating the frame. Leading, of course, three frames to one. One. That puts him one point in front. Nine. Just about perfect. Sixteen. And he'll want position on this black this time to leave an angle so that the cue ball can go down for the last red. And he's not quite got it. 70. can do here is to uh, get a deep screw, spin the cue ball back to the cushion where he is, and a lot of side to take the cue ball down the table. Twenty-four. to me from Terry. He ran out of position on that black, which uh, wasn't a very good shot on the last red for him. So he can only play safe now. the difference now, 17 points and two frames. out of the snooker and not easy to put this one away. <coughs> 
Terry, uh, having a good look at this, it appears that the cue ball will be colliding slightly with the black if he attempts the part. Chosen safety. This is where we came in. This time it's uh, Terry's turn to go off the bottom cushion. Or can he get direct? I think, in fact, he can get direct, and he's looking at a possible doubling the red across the table, but the blue is blocking the way, I'm sure, to the middle pocket. Whoever gets this last red should win the frame. <coughs> yes, look at that, it'll go straight through there. an odd shot by Doug, he stuck it up. <laughs> 17 points the lead before he starts. One. Five. Green is just a little awkward there. Uh, Terry now wants the yellow and green to make the frame safe. ball around the angles or perhaps direct under the bottom cushion and straight back up for the green in its own pocket. And that's perfect. Seven. Ten. Now 27 points ahead with only 22 points there. Sure of the brown. Fourteen, Terry Griffiths on the frame. Doug Manjoy nods his head. So Terry Griffiths then stretches his lead, now leading four frames to one. Well, it seems that uh, Doug is. Uh, 
making the odd mistake too many in this final so far. He started off that way in the first of the 17 frames in this final and uh, has not been able to regain the initiative since uh, those early stages. And we saw there in that last frame just that fatal mistake on the last red, which again has cost him a frame. So Doug has got his back to the wall a little bit at the moment, looking rather serious. Uh, he's still very confident. I, I had words with him when he went for his tea interval, and he's very confident uh, that he uh, will come, he'll get the balls running for him. He's quite sure of that, and there's still quite a long way to go. But he doesn't want to drop too far behind. The trophy there, magnificent trophy given by uh, Senator Windows, who sponsor this Welsh uh, Professional Circuit Championship, together with uh, a record prize money this year, a total of £26,000, £16,500 resting on this final, £10,500 to the winner, and... 6,000 to the runner-up. There is, of course, a high break prize as well of 1,200 pounds. And at the moment, that's in the hands of young Mark Bennett, who uh, made a brilliant uh, 112 break uh, in his semi-final uh, last evening. So once again, the balls are all set. And as we're all very well aware, every frame of snooker is completely different. So let's see what happens this time as Mountjoy breaks off. Capacity crowd here at the Newport Centre again. <coughs> Terry's long pots have not been coming off in this final. I was with him in France last week and his long potting was superb. Never miss one. See another mistake by Doug. <coughs> that red on the side cushion, of course, is not easy. It's a very fine snip there. Uh, possible uh, there. There's just one that might go into the middle, but uh, too dangerous to play. And I think somehow Terry will want to shift this red from this corner pocket. He's not going to shift it very far. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm still not sure whether the referee said they were touching or not. <laughs> This can go on for weeks, of course. <coughs> 
Well, I would have Post said that was a first shot. For Doug Mountjoy. Yes, referee Brian Evans has uh, awarded a foul shot there for a push, which means that the cue, in fact, or the tip of the cue, was in touch with the object ball. <laughs> He's going back at it again. So it looks as though Terry's going to clear the issue now and bring the cue ball back behind the black. Well, nearly. So far, no balls at all putted in this sixth frame. <coughs> yes, clipping one in. And he's on the black. Hiding his face, he's shamed. <laughs> Terry's just checking there on the black spot. Uh, if he pots it, will it spot on its own spot? spots are occupied so it has to go as near Eight. to his own spot as possible towards the top cushion. of the uh, Welsh Professional Championship, these two already met in this final on four occasions. Both jealous of the title, of course, their own national title. Mountjoy on the right has won it four times. Terry Griffiths three times. stroke played with the utmost care. No quarter asked, no quarter given. Oh, 
a burning shot. A chance of getting quite a lot of points. shift that red away from the black spot. He just Eight. might try it here. Going for uh, the lower red, which means going down for the blue, I think. Or the pink. He's cannoned onto another red. He's seen that move. Nine. All these moves are like drafts on a large table. with the spotting of the pink after this. <coughs> Brian Evans in a bit of trouble again now. This time it's the pink that goes as near its own spot as possible again towards the top cushion. Fifteen. Sixteen. Gone a little near that cushion. for the cue ball to be cleaned. I don't think the ref will uh, put it back uh, further into the table. That's his little thing there, plastic uh, marker. Twenty-two. And he's through to the black again. Twenty-nine. Just a little screw back uh, the other side of the black. 
30. Will he be going at that red near the black this time? Thirty-seven. No, he's uh, ignoring it again. Thirty-eight. Terry concentrating on every shot here realizes he has the chance of winning the frame at this visit. Going back for the blue, I think. Forty four. Got hold of the cue ball too well that time. So he's approaching the half century. 47. <clears throat> 48. Fifty-two points ahead. Still 75 points on the table. Four frames to one then, Terry Griffiths in the lead. That's a best of 17 frames final, seven frames this afternoon, ten this evening. You can catch up more with that snooker in our later sports programmes, Wales on Saturday in just under an hour from now, at quarter to six, and Sportfolio tonight at 25 to ten. And of course there'll be extended rugby highlights. Well that's about it from our Cardiff studios, but it's been a very big... One. And that's not a very good one from Doug. Didn't get hold of the cue ball. <clears throat> Eight. A cracker. in it. The pink to come. Mountjoy had already looked at the uh, replacing of 15. the pink. He knew it wouldn't go on its spot. It goes on the highest available, in this case the brown spot.
16. And he's left himself an angle to try and get into those reds. There's a picture of them. Almost 700 people sat in the Newport Centre here, all eyes glued to the table. points in front now. 31. <laughs> 32. Not quite far enough down the table. I think we'll uh, probably just run through the uh, blue here. Thirty-seven. Forty five. And now a little problem. It looks as though this one will go into the middle and he can screw back for the black rather than playing over the top of the reds for the red into the uh, corner. I said just now, 700 people here. It's just around the table. The balcony's open with another 400 people there. Fifty-three. Fifty-four. I said just now that uh, Mount Joy was firing on all cylinders. I think he's opening the throttle now. Mm. Cleared the table in the first frame with 85. Still 49. 43 points there, so 
a possible century. Sixty. And Terry just wondering what's happening this evening so far. Had a nice lead this afternoon. And he's looking at uh, the scores. He's now uh, 46 points ahead. 43. There's only 35 points left on the table, but he's looking at the break situation. The highest break, which claims 1,200 66. pounds, is in the hands of uh, Mark Bennett, a break of 112. Doug can't reach that. Seventy-one. Screwed back too far. Seventy-three. Three 80. colors for a break of 98. 80. <laughs> a terrific performance then by Doug Mountjoy. 85 in the first, and then another clearance to take the first two frames this evening. Now trading by just one at five frames to four. Mountjoy making a solid comeback. And here in the tenth frame, Griffiths and Mountjoy have both made breaks. Griffiths leading 49-41, but it's Mountjoy at the table. Bringing the cue ball around the table, trying to get it somewhere near behind the black. This one could be left. <laughs> 
had the chance of bringing the blue out, which of course he tried to do, and uh, would have been on it had he potted the brown. So there's still eight points in it, and now the blue is very possible. So the brown becomes the all-important ball. Yes, a great shot that from Mountjoy. And I think he's left this. After a brilliant brown, Four. he's so given the uh, frame away. <laughs> Four points in it. Terry just wanting blue and pink. <coughs> Making quite sure by asking our referee, Brian Evans, to clean the cue ball. Not played that terribly well. <coughs> Just this pink then to go back two frames ahead. That's Remember. the one. And that Mount Joy will be casting the blue ball, but he's now two frames down. Terry leading six frames to four. But Mountjoy won the next frame to make it 6-5. On we go to the 12th frame. Griffiths was the first to put points on the board, only 12 of them. But then Mountjoy replied and we joined his break at 29. Planning three shots ahead. Thirty. He's already worked out exactly what angle he wants to leave on which red from the blue Thirty-six. Forty-one. This is still looking very promising for Mount Joy. If he makes the most of this uh, opportunity, he'll be levelling the match at six frames all. Forty-two. 
42. Forty-six. Mountjoy not only going well in this 12th frame, but also in with the chance of superseding Mark Bennett's 112 as the highest break. That would be worth £1,200, assuming it wasn't beaten. Fifty-two. Sixty. The way Mountjoy is playing, there shouldn't be any problem about the four loose reds and either. Uh, pigs or blacks with them and even the difficult red on the right hand side cushion is not all that difficult for a right hander providing he could get the cue ball pretty well straight behind it 50. the first priority remains of course for Mountjoy to clinch this frame he's not quite reached that position yet 61. 67. This red will be sufficient to leave Griffiths needing a snooker. Elected to leave the uh, difficult red earlier in the break than perhaps we thought. I thought he'd leave that till last. 76. But an opportunity presented itself. So now he's got rid of that. And if he can stop the cue ball just a couple of inches from the blue spot, he should be sitting pretty. 81. Mountjoy has played well this evening. He was 5-2 down coming into the evening session, but he made an 85 break in the first frame, an 80 in the second, lost the third, and made a 50 in the fourth. Here he is again, over the 80 mark. 
89. And uh, young Mark Bennett will be watching this with uh, some interest. He's uh, set the target for the highest break prize with 112. 1,200 pounds that prize is worth. 90. But now that Mountjoy has a good angle on the black, it's Mountjoy who's favourite for that uh, particular 1,200 pounds. Ninety-seven. One hundred and twenty-four. If he can clear the table, and uh, what an ovation he'll get from these eleven hundred people if he does. Ninety-nine. Should be odds on from this position perfectly on the green and uh, all the remaining colours on their spots. One hundred and six. Just uh, blue and pink to uh, set a new target for the highest break prize. One hundred and eleven. the one that could make him £1,200 richer. A superb break of 124. This packed auditorium at the Newport Centre loved it. And uh, it's enabled him to level this final at six frames all. 124. Great snooker from Mountjoy. Five frames left, don't worry. The Welsh final building up to a great climax. We'll be back there for the final frames a little later. from his three snookers, he must take blacks with these reds. <coughs> Sixteen. Seventeen. Twenty-three. And attempting to play snookers with the last Thank red. <laughs> Forty-six points in it and only thirty-five points on the table.
that is catastrophe. Foul stroke. Four. The mount joint. The cue ball dropping into the centre pocket avoids a free ball. Terry Griffiths started so well in this final, but now has his back against the wall. Mountjoy in superb form. Now looking for just one frame. That is to claim the Welsh professional title for the fifth time. Six, Doug Mojoy, and the three. And Terry concedes a remarkable performance then by Doug Mountjoy. His breaks in almost every frame now leads eight frames to six and requires just one to win the title. Mountjoy, eight, six, just three frames left. And as Ted Lowe said there, just one more required by Mountjoy to take the title. On we go to the 15th, 16-14. It's Griffiths leading, and he's at the table. That wasn't easy, but uh, they're the sort of balls that have got to be potted if... Griffiths is to get back into contention. One. And of course the difference between the two players is that Mountjoy He's on a roll, full of confidence. He's made breaks of 85, 80, 50, 124, 53 and 70 tonight. So uh, he's got all the confidence that he needs. He'd prefer the green not to be where it is. It's preventing him possibly from getting up the table as e easily as he would like. Five. He can pot the red all right, but uh, he's having to give some consideration to how he's going to get position. Six. He knew that he was going into that second red, but as long as he only hit it thinly, he was always going to be on the pink. Important decision this for referee Brian Evans. If the pink goes on its spot, it ties up two reds. He decides it won't. Twelve. And therefore the pink goes on the black spot in an open position available for break building. Thirteen. Nineteen. <coughs> 
20. And this is starting to look like a frame and match coming up. Twenty-six. Fourteen in front. Shouldn't be any problem about the three open reds. Twenty-seven. And uh, Terry Griffiths will be very disappointed at how things have gone tonight. He seemed to be in a commanding position when he led 5-1 this afternoon, but he's not been allowed to get into it tonight. The problem here is that the pink is possibly too straight, and if Mountjoy screws back, he might be carrying into the red on the side cushion. Although on that angle, on that camera angle, it looks as if he's got enough uh, angle to get round. Well, did it easily. 33. But it's understandable that uh, even the apparently straightforward shots should be given just that little bit extra consideration at this stage of the match. Thirty-four. Forty. Forty-one. So just this pink and the remaining red would leave Griffiths needing snookers. <coughs> now, within a couple of shots of his fifth Welsh professional title. Forty-seven. Thirty-five in front. Thirty-five on the table. So all he's got to do is pop this last red. Needn't worry about position. The pot means everything. Forty-seven. <laughs> Nevertheless, that forty-seven break puts Doug Mountjoy in a commanding position. Terry Griffiths needs red, black, and all the colours to draw, and uh, the black is in an unpromising position. Good safety from Mount Joy. He knows that uh, he's almost got his fifth Welsh title won, and uh, what a remarkable season he's having. It looks like his third major first prize coming up, and uh, a second consecutive disappointment, it seems, for Terry Griffiths, beaten last Saturday by John Parrott in the final of the European Open. He 
knows that he needs red, black and all the colours to draw this frame that he needs to save the match. So Mountjoy won't be bothered if Griffith pots this red without getting on the black. pots the red. He must get on the black. <laughs> and now He's got to pot it. Not a formality by any means. He's got to be careful at least not to snooker himself on the yellow. He mustn't miss the black. If he does, he'll need two snookers. Struck it beautifully, so 27 behind, 27 on the table. Eight, Teddy Griffiths. Good length on the safety. Well, I was surprised that Mountjoy went for that from that position. It was frame and match ball if he'd got it, but it was difficult. And uh, if he missed it, there was always the chance that he was going to leave himself exposed to uh, the clearance of the colours by Griffiths. Can't help thinking that he might have waited and played safe from the yellow, although it's not uh, worked out too badly from his point of view. The yellow is well potable, but the green is very awkward to get on. Chose to refuse the yellow because he couldn't get on the green. And uh, that was certainly a very well thought out alternative because if Mountjoy now fails to make the escape from this snooker Griffiths will be able to win the frame not merely to tie it a difficult snooker to hit an awful lot of room around this yellow Very good, very good. <coughs> Griffith's debating the pros and cons here. I think he can hit enough of the yellow to pot it. Obviously, on that camera angle, he can. <coughs> but chose to play the safety. And he looks anxiously to see 
whether he's got safety. Close thing this, but if Mountjoy can get past the pink to make the potting angle, it's match ball. He's having to swerve it slightly. Well, within a millimetre of uh, potting that vital ball. Judge the swerve almost to perfection. Difficult that, having to strike downwards. <coughs> and that should be it. A confident cut to the middle pocket puts Mountjoy 29 in front with only 25 on the table. And now it's certain. So, a remarkable performance by this 46-year-old Welshman. Winner of the Tennis UK Open by beating Stephen Hendry in November. Winner of the Mercantile Classic by beating his fellow Welshman Wayne Jones in January. And now, for the fifth time, Welsh professional champion by beating his old adversary Terry Griffiths. A marvellous performance then by Doug Mountjoy. Terry Griffiths was 5-1 up but could win only one further frame. And Doug Mountjoy with a fusillade of big breaks in this evening session, including 85, 80, 50, 124, 53 and 70, has progressed to his fifth Welsh professional title. Don't adjust the televisions, we're having a few problems with our links to Newport, but we'll be back there as soon as we can for the presentation. I think our pictures are back. So let's go back to Newport with... Sy'n dilyn y gem snwcer gŵr poblogaidd arall, Tedlo. Gan ni wrando bysig gan y fwy ddeud. Rwan, ar ôl iddo ysgwyll llaw, efo ar ddau chwariwr. One, two, three, four. Wel, mae'n medru cyfri beth bwynnau, dwi'n siŵr gawn ni air neu ddau rwan. Well, this is the 10th year of the Welsh Professional Snooker Championship and the second year that Senator have opened their windows on the tournament, this time with the record prize money of £26,000. Before we come to those prizes, perhaps a quick word with the runner-up. Commiserations, I'm sure everybody would join me in. Terry Griffiths. Yeah, Terry Griffiths. But you believe now and secure. Gair Nevai and the Boro one. Terry, you started off so magnificently. Well. <laughs> that. No, I, I thought um, I lost the match this afternoon. I should have had 6 1. But um, the way Doug's played tonight, I mean, he played a tremendous snooker. I just uh, didn't get on the table enough. And when I got there, I was like cold and 
I mean, the breaks he made, I mean, tremendous. Everyone was uh, a very good positional break. He didn't have to sort of make any difficult shots because his positioning was so good, you know. That's true. He used to be a mate of mine, but... Uh, <laughs> Not from now. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I said, actually, in commentary, vintage man, Joy. I think you'd agree. Well, the... Um, I think that's uh, the best Doug's ever played against me in that session tonight. Uh, but also in the UK Championships, uh, he played superb against me, they gave me a right arm in. Uh, but tonight the quality of his play was even better, even better when he was playing at his best, I thought, in the late 70s. Yes. His quality you now is much better than that as well, so uh, I can't give him a bigger compliment than that really. He was very good in the late 70s, but he's better <laughs> now. <laughs> Terry, commiserations, you. but you have £6,000 to come from the Managing Director of Senator, Mr David Jenkins. And of course now, ladies and gentlemen, to the man of the moment. The man who's won this Welsh professional title five times now, Doug Mountjoy. Doug, just for good measure, I suppose you put in the high break of 124, 1,200 pounds for your wife's birthday today. <laughs> uh, well, it probably cost me that for the present I bought her. But uh, yes, my wife is 40 uh, today, so it's a nice... <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody knows my age. <laughs> Now, Doug, uh, very many congratulations. You really have shown us the true Mount for Joy tonight with breaks, what was it, 85, 80, 58, 124, and so you went on. You just kept Terry in his chair. Magnificent. Well, that's where he belongs, actually, in his chair. <laughs> <laughs> no, obviously, I'm very pleased. Um, uh, going back last season, I wasn't playing that terrific, but uh, thanks to Frank Callan, who was just on the side there, was transform my game, I, I owe it all to Frank Allen. Yes, absolutely marvellous. I'm going to ask Mr David Jenkins, who's the managing director of Senator, to come forward and present Doug Mountjoy with a cheque for £10,500, another one for the high break of £1,200, and of course the magnificent trophy that he so richly deserves. Mr David Jenkins. <laughs> A Dita Kant, and a Hetiat Gora, a Kupan. A check for six thousand pounds to Terry Griffiths. Ted Lowe, great man, a great finale to the Welsh tournament.